Hello, I bought a drone with DJI 03 for long range flying. Is it worth waiting for a compatibility update with G3 or should I just buy the G2? Uh, I, I, I don't think it's worth uh, like, we don't know how long it's going to be until that happens. So the question is, how long are you willing to wait? Okay? Like, I would I would take the under on one year until we have... Like, let's... let's Blunty, let's think about it if we were betting. And Blunty, I, I just... I assume you know... Like, if I say I'll take the under on one year, that means we're going to bet. And if it's less than a year, I win the bet. And if it's a year over, you win the bet. Okay? So the question is, what would I take the under on? Let's say we're going to bet $100. What do you think? What would you take the under on? I mean, if, is this a world where I can pick the under? There, there is the odds yeah, yeah. change based well, I'm gonna on let the you... length of... No, no, no. We're just... Here's the, here's the deal. Here's the well, deal I'm going to offer here, you. So I'm definitely right. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? I'm picking, yeah, but I don't I, understand. But... But I have to take the over. That's the thing. If if I right, say, if let's say, let's say we say one year, okay? Yeah, oh, I'd take the under on a year. So would you. Okay, no bet. All right. But you take, if somebody oh, was willing, if somebody was willing to take the over, you would 100% take the under on a year, right? Yes. Okay. If somebody was willing to take the over, would you take the under on six months? I'd take the under uh, on six months. I don't. I don't know. This is tough oh. for me because I don't know that it's actually going to happen. I guess in a world where we, where we assume it's going to happen, the under is six months. It's just tough I, for me to like. I assume it's going to happen. Do you think it might not DJ, happen? DJI changes. DJI is a billion dollar company. <laughs> they can snap <laughs> a finger and close a division. You know what I mean? Like I. I know. Oh, I don't necessarily think it's going to happen. But so you're I, I you're mean, on the you're on. Well, by the way, for those who aren't aren't tracking, we're talking about goggles three, getting compatibility with the O3 Air unit. I think it's I would take the under on six months, but I agree, that's like if you asked me to take the under on four months, I would be hesitant. I probably take the under on four months, but I think no no happen. less than that. It, yeah, I think if it's going to happen, it'll definitely be in the next six months. But I just like, similar to the 04 Air Unit, like I think it is very possible they just don't do any of that. Like the division mm -hmm. stops making things and they decide to get out of FPV. You know, like I don't I don't know, but, but we don't yeah. know how well they're doing. Well, right? you're, you're gambling, so you're playing the odds sort of inherently. That's yeah. what I think is, I think gambling is interesting. But uh, in that... when you have odds to play, but we right. don't have odds to play because we don't know well, anything about that's yes. the most interesting form of gambling, Blunty. Gambling on things where you know the odds is boring. Because, you know, let's gamble on the outcome of a dice roll. Well, we both know the odds. We both know if we're smart, you know, and can do math, then we know what our, our uh, expected value should be. And at that point, you know, we just might as well flip a coin and gamble on the outcome of that. But yes. gambling on things where no one knows what the outcome is going to be, now, now I feel alive. <laughs> now you don't agree? I think we have different different ideas of fun. Well, I, 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 to be fair, I don't actually gamble at all in real life. I only gamble hypothetically. Because in real if life... Division, yeah. If the FPV division keeps going, it's definitely going to happen in the You're next take, months. I, I, I you take the under on six, you take the under on four, you take the under on two? No. No, you take the over on two. No. Well, I don't know. Ah. I kind of just wouldn't bet because I wouldn't want that. Nope. Like, not I... an option. Not an option. <laughs> you take the, would you take the under or the over on two months? Know, what I kind take... of messed up gambling game is this where I have to? Look, <laughs> look. We're t... I, okay. I would take the over on two months and the under on four. If I actually, if I was to put my own money on the line, that's my guess. Now, it doesn't, by the way, that doesn't mean I'm right. I could easily just be way off base and lose money. Yeah, I think a lot of the question here is how important do you think it was that how big the Avada sold to getting mm -hmm. an O3 Air unit and backwards compatibility for Vista and... You think it depends on the Avada 2 sales. If Avada 2 sales are bad, then you think it'll take longer. That's interesting. I do, because they need to sell through stock before they start supporting older things. That's interesting.
And, I mean, that's what so, a lot of people think happens, and I think that is logical for a company that yeah. works on numbers and doesn't work yeah. on having fun and making fun, you know, happy customers. It makes, yeah. you know, the goal is to sell product and have sell through, I'm sure, and to make sure you're not like holding back stock product and like. Yeah. yeah. So it, I'll, I'll say if I were to be betting, which I'm not, I would say more than two months, definitely less than a year. Pro, uh, like 99% confident less than a year, 97% confident less than six months. And I think, I think, you know, in the two to four month range would be my guess. But if I had to really nail it down, I'd say two to six months. Um, but and that's pure is, speculation. And the reminder is for the Avada, that was three months. They released the O3 and did backwards compatibility two weeks later. Yep. Okay. Um, but here's going back to the original question. Is it worth waiting? I, I don't know. Like, because when people say, should I wait for this new product? What I'm imagining is like every day you wake up and you think, oh, is it today? And you go and you Google. Like, I know what it's like waiting for a product to come out that you're really excited about. And every freaking day you're like reading, you know, product name, release, Reddit. And then one day there's a hit and oh, oh, it's a it's an early review or it's an unboxing from somebody who has a pre-release sample. Ah, it's not out yet. And you spend the next four months like in that state of perpetual. And I, that's a, that's miserable. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. So ask yourself how long you're willing to wait. But know that the actual amount of time, no one knows. I think realistically, it's going to be two or three months if I had to guess. And I wouldn't want to wait two or three months. I would just get my ass in the air. Buy the goggles too. Because frankly, here's the other thing. The O4 is not that much better than the O3. So if you buy the goggles too and the O3 today, what are you missing out on? The O4 comes out and somehow the O4 doesn't get backwards compatibility to the G2. Oh no, you don't get to use the O4. Who cares? It's still, All right, I think we I, I think we spent long enough on this question, but yeah, ahead, I always say this, but I'm still flying V1s with Vistas, and it's a great, it's amazing, and I'm very happy with it. So yeah. 